Nation, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kira Andrea, and if you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and become part of K Nation because K Nation is the greatest nation. So, in today's video, I'm going to, in today's video, I'm going to be telling y'all pretty much 15 feminine hygiene slash skincare hacks that everybody should know because for some reason this video is trending because I don't think a lot of people have much knowledge about it luckily i have a mom who taught me everything and if she felt like i wasn't doing something right she used to check behind me correct me whatever so i figured why not be the mom for y'all that y'all may not have had or maybe just didn't teach y'all some of this stuff i'm just giving y'all the basics so there's nothing extra or extraordinary that you may not know but i'm just giving y'all like the basics on this Ooh, my hands are ashy Y'all can't see my hands anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna be giving y'all those hacks that I use or that I've seen other people use and it worked well for them and me as well. So before I get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe and also turn on your post notifications because I'm getting ready to do a giveaway um, when I get to 3K and I'm almost there and I just need about 40 more subscribers. So make sure you follow me on my social media so you can find out more about my giveaway and as well as if you go on my community tab on my page i also have a poll on there that will tell y'all what exactly i'm giving away so i'm letting y'all pick and someone messaged me and they said that they want me to give away gadgets or an iphone i am not giving that away because that costs too much money so um i gave y'all a list and i told y'all if y'all have any other ideas besides anything super expensive you can dm me um, at my social media so my social media will be up here in the screen the entire video so you can go ahead and follow me on all my social media because for the giveaway to enter you're gonna need to follow my social media so why not get a head start and do that now so without further ado let's get in to the video so um these tips aren't exactly in order so it kind of bounces from hygiene to skincare from skincare to hygiene so it, it just bounces around um, I'm giving you guys 15 hacks so the first one and one of the main ones that a lot of people don't know because i work at a daycare and a lot of the little girls that go there do not know this but of course they're only like two to ten so they're really young but i still try to tell them um just because i'm not allowed to go into the restroom with them they have to go in themselves but i can let them know to do this when they go in there so another thing that people do not know is to wipe front to back so front to back because for some reason little kids like to wipe from back to front there's some adults who like to do the same thing um and i'm not sure why what makes them do that i guess it's easier to put your hand that way and come back to front but you always wipe from front to back you don't want to take anything from your butt and move it up front because you will literally cause yourself to get an infection and you'll be a very sad girl so make sure you wipe from front to back and another thing that I did not put on my list, but something that I feel is necessary, when you go to a public place, do not sit on a public toilet seat. I don't know what it is about people sitting on a public toilet seat. Do You don't know if they clean those things all the way, if people have infections, or if the people peed on the seat, this and that. Like You don't know anything about those dirty toilet seats. Do not sit on a public toilet seat. I can't tell you how many times I've been in the bathroom and I hear the squeaking from the toilet because somebody sat on the seat. And I'm just over there like, did you really just sit on a toilet? And the only time you sit on a public toilet seat is if you make like a protection barrier with some tissue them little thin little paper things that they have you put on the toilet if a little bit of water touches that that thing will go straight through it and whatever was on the toilet seat is going to touch your skin so literally i don't even trust those i just say take a lot of tissue and line the entire toilet literally um if i really have to go to the bathroom that bad to where i need to sit on the toilet i will wait till i get home i do not use public restrooms if I have to sit on the seat most of the time I just squat but I don't understand why people sit on the toilet seat in a public restroom that's the most disgusting thing ever so just beware do not sit on a public toilet seat another thing that a lot of people don't know is don't use a douche literally I don't use those I know I don't ever see them I, I'm pretty sure you can get out of the store but I never see it now on to number three this is another thing 
that a lot of people don't know. Personally, I feel like it's a lot better to use wipes than it is to use tissue, just because, have you ever noticed, you use tissue and it breaks apart, so it's like leaving like the residue of the tissue like if you wipe your butt, it's leaving it on your butt. Like the little roll up pieces of tissue. I just personally think that tissue is very annoying and I prefer organic tissue, but we don't buy organic tissue at my house. But my skin is very sensitive and I get rashes like my arms, anywhere. Like I literally get rashes everywhere. So if I use something that my body does not like, it automatically creates a rash. But of course I have contact dermatitis. so. Anything that touches my skin that my skin does not like, it will cause a rash. So, certain tissues, depending on where I go, if I use it, it will literally cause like a rash on my butt or something just because the tissue is rough from when I hate that sandpaper tissue. Or it's just got too much chemicals or whatever in there. So, for one, wipes clean way better. Especially if you have the poop, the wipes will clean way better. You don't want to smell like poop because you know how you'll change a little kid and they pooped and you use wipes sometimes to get rid of the smell and some people use tissue and the kid butt still smell like poop. Yeah. So pretty much I would say to use wipes because wipes work so much better. It cleans you so much better. It may be a little wet, but of course just let yourself air dry before you get up. But wipes work way better than tissue. It gets all the residue from everything that you could have done to where you needed to wipe yourself. So definitely use wipes. Um, you can carry little wipes. They sell flushable wipes um, for like bathroom purposes. But if you need like the feminine hygiene wipes, I will show you the ones. Ooh. I have to use literally organic everything just because my body does not like, um, like it just doesn't like stuff that's not organic, I guess you could say. So I use these, this brand, and it's called L. And um, these are the cotton wipes and they're like, they're organic cotton wipes. They have a cucumber, they have cucumber and aloe vera and vitamin E. So like I was saying, I prefer these organic cotton wipes. They have cucumber aloe vera. On the back it says it has sea buckthorn oil, which is a very good oil. Vitamin E and green tea. But like you can't smell all that in here. But these are very sensitive. They're like not super scented either. They're actually pretty good and I've used majority of it. The only thing I don't like is that these do not come in small, like little small packaging. So if I wanna take these with me, I have to take this big behind thing with me, even though it's not that big. If you fold the sides down, it's kind of like this, but personally, I prefer like the little small package ones that you could just bring rip. Um, I used to use the one by Summer's Eve, but I don't use those anymore. My body does not like it. Creates a rash, so I had to switch to these. These are the only things, only wipes besides the Cottonelle ones that don't give me a rash or make my skin irritated. So, um... Yeah, that's just for people who have to use organic stuff like me. Um, yeah. So another thing, this is not really like feminine hygiene, but it's still a thing for that, that I feel like women should do. But make sure your skin is moisturized on the daily because I hate it when there's like these really pretty females with this ashy behind, dry, rough skin. Like your skin is dry, you're, you're ashy. It doesn't make sense. I feel like if you're a girl, you need to keep up with your skin. Your skin should never be rough. It should never be hard. You should always smell good and be moisturized. So I just feel like moisturize your skin. Okay, so another thing that I didn't experience personally, but um, I went to middle school with a lot of girls who didn't do this. So I always got a whiff of something from them. But um, pretty much I would say shave regularly because hair causes bacteria and odor. So shave under your arms. You don't shave under your arms. You gonna smell like onions. And the thing is you can wash under your arms, but you're still gonna smell it because you have hair trapping that in. Like you can scrub the hair, whatever, but you need to shave under your arms. Um, your legs don't really contain odor, but you're under your arms and the pubic area, you need to shave that too. Or wax, people prefer to wax. Some people like to shave, but whatever you do, get rid of the hair because the hair causes bacteria and odor. And you definitely don't want no bacteria down there because then again, you can get a yeast infection, any type of other infe infection. So you want to make sure that you shave. And also when you shave, please shave in the direction that your hair grows. So like under your arm, I don't know which way y'all hair grows, 
but mine grows like down so if i'm shaving under my arm it like the hair grows down so i have to go like pretty much um i don't know why because that's only this arm that does that and this arm the hair grows up so i shave this one going up and this one going down just because that's that's how i do it and i do not get any razor bumps or hair bumps under my arms ever and then like the pubic area i heard people say that you shave down um because that will keep you from getting razor bumps but um normally if i do shave i just put aquaphor on me because aquaphor is my holy grail and it works for everything dry skin razor bumps everything so i use that and also since like i told you i have contact dermatitis my doctor pretty much gave me a cream for everything so after i shave i have to put this cream under my arms or whatever just to keep me from getting razor bumps or ingrown hair because for some reason i'm so prone to it i used to get them really bad under my arms but i actually don't get them anymore since the doctor gave me that cream so um that's what i use personally but aquaphor works really good i wouldn't suggest um vaseline i don't know it's just too thick um aquaphor works really good and it helps like it helps you from getting those like dry bumps if y'all ever get those like where you get these bumps because your skin is like super dry it helps with that so the next thing that i would say is sleep with no underwear pretty much you always want to give your body the ability to breathe and i feel like if you wear underwear all the time you're literally just like it's like your underwear is dead on top of your skin and your skin needs to breathe so i would always say sleep with no underwear um, I don't really know where I got that tip from. I don't know if my mom told me that or if my doctor told me that. But sleep with no underwear. I think it's uncomfortable to sleep with underwear anyways. Like I wear pants, but they always say sleep with no underwear. So I don't sleep with underwear. Um, but if you want to sleep with underwear, then try not to sleep with pants. Because both, both of those on top, literally, you're just going to make yourself sweat and have to take another shower in the morning. So I always say sleep with no underwear. Another thing that a lot of females don't know is take showers every day. I went to middle school with this girl who used to be like, yeah, I take showers like maybe twice a week. No, ma'am, you need to take showers every day. Because when I tell y'all, she, so she was thinking, she's like, she's a smell like musk and odor every day, all day. Take a shower every day. Some people feel the need to take a shower in the morning and at night. I don't take shower mornings. Oh, I don't take showers in the morning i take them at night i only take them in the morning if i have something important to do or if i was sweating a lot in my sleep but my dad keeps our house very cold so i don't sweat in my sleep so pretty much i take showers at night like i don't like to go lay down on my bed at night until i have taken a shower so i take my showers at night and um sometimes in the morning but i don't i have a friend who takes showers morning and night like she has to take it in the morning as well as at night but i kind of feel like it's not necessary to take it in the morning if you just like took a shower and went straight to bed that's the only thing if you just went straight to bed then okay if you took a shower that night but you went out and then came back you need to take a shower in the morning but yeah i don't take showers um in the morning but i do at night so another thing that I feel is don't over exfoliate your skin because you can cause tears, you can cause even drier skin or wrinkles. So I would say, okay, don't use a loofah, which if y'all don't know, this is a loofah. This is something that exfoliates your skin um, pretty much. It just like scrubs all of the dead skin off. I would say don't use a loofah as well as use a like sugar scrub on your skin because that's just too much exfoliating because sometimes the soap that you use if you use liquid soap it can have like an exfoliating type of beads in there so now you've just like triple exfoliated and you didn't need to do that so then you get out of the shower and you stripped pretty much all the healthy oils and whatever that was in your skin and now it's just dry and that can cause wrinkles it can cause tears so i would say don't over exfoliate your skin Okay, so another thing that I realized is a lot of people, a lot of females just wash their face with water. Don't only wash your face with water. That's not cleaning anything. You're not cleaning anything washing your face with water. You're literally kind of just throwing water on your face, rinsing it off. You're not cleaning anything. If anything, you're just smearing the dirt around. So, I always suggest that you use a type of soap or facial cleanser. I don't, I would not recommend a body wash on your face. I would either use a Dove Bar soap or I would use a actual face cleanser so if you have one of those use that but please wash your face not with only water but use soap because honestly your skin will break out 
me personally i use a face cleanser i use something specifically for my face because i used to wash my face with dove soap and my skin was not clearing it was just breaking out all the time i just had bad acne so i stopped using that and i went and started using um a facial cleanser instead and as you can see my skin has been doing a lot better i still have little spots here and there but these are like these little freckle looking things that i'm developing they're not actual bumps but yeah i would suggest using a facial cleanser okay so here's another thing for some of you bigger chested people like me so if you happen to have big boobs i would suggest that you would put some type of deodorant in between your chest especially if your boobs are big enough to where they touch and it's summertime so of course you're gonna be walking around doing this and you know your boobs are going like this or whatever they're rubbing against each other and it will create a rash or like your skin will peel like here in between your chest i used to get it all the time and i did not know how to fix it people told me to use baby powder but do not use baby powder there's also this other powder that's like talcum powder or talcum powder i don't know what it's called it starts with a t but don't use that either um there's someone that i know who used baby powder like underneath her stomach because of sweat in between her chest because it was sweating and she ended up getting an infection like a staph infection and had to get like half of her stomach cut off or whatever so i would never suggest that you use baby powder or anything like that just use deodorant that's your safest route you can use an organic deodorant but do not use a gel deodorant gel deodorants are very drying i you could put it under your arm like that's fine but do not put it in between your chest that's way more sensitive than your armpits so you're putting that there and it's literally going to dry out right there and just make the rash worse um so i suggest that you use a like powder deodorant so like the dove like just regular white deodorant not gel just regular deodorant so another thing that people don't seem to know is don't use the same washcloth for your face and your body you need a separate washcloth honestly some people i don't use a washcloth on my face i use my hands or i use my um michael todd face like cleanser brush thing um i don't use a washcloth on my face so i just have one particularly so um sometimes i'll use like a washcloth just to like get the soap off my face because i can't splash my face of course with eyelash extensions but um i will never use the same washcloth for my face and my body that's not okay that's not good you're literally taking a washcloth that you use to wipe your butt and wash just to wash your face like you about to put your butt on your face like don't use that washcloth to wipe your face and clean your body you need two separate washcloths and most of the time they say white washcloths are the best because they don't hold any dyes or anything it's just white and so they always say white washcloths are better than colored washcloths but personally i don't have a preference i use either or i pref i really honestly don't prefer white washcloths because they stain quickly if you wear makeup and you're washing your face now you have a brown washcloth so i would not suggest white unless it's for your body only another thing is when you're shaving I would not recommend using any type of thin shaving cream or like something that's super thin. I will always suggest that you use a thick shaving cream. So for me, I always use the EOS shaving cream. I believe I showed it to y'all in my hygiene routine, but that's the one that I use. That one is thick enough to where you don't have to add water. You can just use it. But those like thin ones, them like you, the razor will literally scrape your skin and just scratch you but the one that's with the thicker barrier for one it moisturizes is way better and it prevents you from cutting yourself so i prefer to use a thicker shaving cream than a thinner one like the little thin foamy ones no i want my thick like a lotion or even thicker than a lotion because that works the best for me it gets a nice clean and close shave as well as prevents razor bumps my skin is moisturized after and i don't ever have any cuts or scrapes or burns or anything so I suggest a thicker shaving cream. Okay, so when it comes to my face and people getting peach fuzz like right around their, their mouth, I get peach fuzz all the time. And the fact that my skin has starting to get a little bit lighter from me being inside, you can see the peach fuzz a lot more. So I do not shave my peach fuzz with a razor. Never, ever, ever shave your peach fuzz with a razor. You need to use Nair or some type of waxing 
or sugar wax, whatever. Just don't use a razor. I personally use Nair. People always say do not use Nair. It burns your skin, la la la, this and that. It has never burned me or anything. It just removes the peach fuzz, which that's all I needed to do. So I suggest using Nair or some type of waxing, but don't shave it. Because then it'll start to come back in really thick and dark. And now you'll look like you have a mustache. So I would never suggest that you use any type of like razor or clippers or whatever to shave peach fuzz. And last but not least, this is not really a tip, but it's more of a fact. Your body is a temple and you need to take care of it. Never neglect your body because some people just seem to neglect your body or you may never have learned how to take care of yourself because your parents didn't teach you but luckily youtube is a helping community and there's a lot of people on here who make videos like these that give you guys hygiene tips so a lot of them do the same one so i figured i would do the basics which is what i gave you all these aren't like some of the main things but these are just like the like the bare minimum like the basics for the people that don't know them because of course they might not have had anybody to teach them this so that's why I'm here to teach everyone who didn't have someone to teach them I guess I should have my mom do this video with me because she knows a little bit of everything so yeah those are my tips to you guys my hacks for y'all to pretty much not be stink and to be able to take care of yourself because like i said your body is a temple you only get one body well at least one physical body but you only get one and i just feel like you should take the best care of it that you can because the minute you mess up something you might not be able to reverse that so just take these tips into consideration if you need them and if you have any more that you'd want to share or would like people to know you can comment it down below or something that you feel like I missed or that I could have went into I could have went more in depth with just comment down below and I'll be happy to answer or respond to anything and I'm pretty sure other people will be happy to see more tips in the comments down below as well so I hope you guys like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe also make sure you go and vote on my community tab for what you guys would want for the giveaway as well as follow me on my social media up here and um DM me if you have any other suggestions for videos or what y'all want me to give away for the giveaway. So stay tuned for that. As soon as we hit 3K, I'll give you guys a date for the giveaway. And um, that's pretty much it. So I'll see you guys in my next video.